Welcome to the Highly Focused Podcast. I go by the name of Brother Terry. And it's your boy, Ed ZP. And we back at it again for episode 12. <laughs> new chapters, bro. Let's call it what it is. New chapters, new chapters. There you go. Let's start off how we normally start off, bro. With the high questions. So, I'm going to bring back this oldie but newie. What? On, the, on, a, <laughs> on a good, what, this Saturday? This good Saturday? Oh, so, I, I asked this before, but if somebody was to write a book about your life right now, what would this chapter be called? Um, <clears throat> let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Explain. Uh, you know, can I get a can I get a little sub subtitle <clears throat> to I'm, it? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm getting it. That's it. Listen. Um, Go this is going to be called rebirth. And then right under it's gonna be called Wakanda Forever. <laughs> As you see with the Ka- Wakanda Forever. <laughs> Wakanda Forever. <laughs> Wakanda Forever. <laughs> Listen, Rebirth. take it high. That's, I'm not giving you no more than that. That's all you need to know. Look into it, read into it. Rebirth. Wakanda, Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. I or don't even know what that means. Royalty. I'm gonna look it up. Or royalty. What? Slash royalty. He making words up. I'm just putting things together. I guess. Like, but yeah, <laughs> like what? <laughs> In a hundred years, what do you think is going to replace phones? In a hundred years? A hundred years from now. So think about where phones were a hundred years ago. Were they? They were existent. They were probably like suitcases. No, they were on the wall, I guess. Yeah. The twenties? Yeah, they were like the. You gotta hit the hit the button like a transponder or something like oh, that. Oh shit! To, From do, that do, to do. this to this. That's when you gotta hold the joint to your ear and then talk to it. Oh. It's one of them Jones. Ooh. Right. Getting and tetanus now, to the ear. Right now we just walking around with a phone in our pocket that don't even have a button. No button. But somehow we're accessible to everything. Has. Everything we need on it. I can get my point across just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can research. Yeah, I can go just, like I can literally just like that. Leave my house right now and figure out how to get home. Get to anywhere in the world. Yeah. Do that's anything. That's crazy. With just one thing in my hand. I don't know what phones are gonna. I don't know what's gonna replace phones in a hundred years. That I I couldn't even tell you. That's crazy. Robots, I guess. I don't know. Like, um, right. But how will you always need to call a person? Like, I'm in this. <laughs> I'm in this brain fart right now because I feel like it's going to be some super technology where we don't need to call people, but also it's like we are a gadget like humans like we're we're like to be unique and we like to have our style so it still has to be customizable it still has to get the way to get our point across so it's like i think there's going to be more like if there's going to be this it's just going to disappear so it may, every like everything's going to watches everything's going to wearables i think it's going to be that thing like give me some glasses give me a watch Making sure it fits my style already, so I don't have to look like I have anything. Maybe a contact lens. I don't even. And want then now, that. you get to see things differently. Just don't put a chip in me. Hey, that's what they do. No, no, <laughs> no. That's not what they do. Because <laughs> <laughs> I rebuke the name of Jesus. Oh, man, I'm just saying. <laughs> You I rebuke it across saying. the <laughs> across the Shoot. lines right now. I'm just saying. But we listen. We trying to get away from that. So I think the advance would just be something wearable. As long as it's wearable, it's something that it can be easily removed. It can easily be put to the side. Like sometimes what I don't like to be some shit like that, like a little sticker. Pee, let the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You got five pills before the, the uh, yes, heat. You can feel it. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Like you a little sticker shit. patch or oh, some nah. shit like that. I would take that, though. I would take a little sticker <laughs> patch. Yeah, I something that. I can just take the fuck off. Bro, that shit is wild. Um, sticker patch going to have all your 3,000 contacts on <laughs> That shit weird. Like, yeah. I don't know. All right, all right speaking of contacts, if you, if you was to get high with one person, 
celebrity. It has to be a celebrity. Who would you smoke with? Outside, outside, we got we outside of our usual. I'm excluding two. Outside of the big dogs, the ones that are like, yeah. if you don't smoke with this person, you ain't a smoker. Like, yeah. outside of those people. Keep it real, bro. I want to smoke with like Erica Badu or some shit like that. Okay. Like, that's a good pick. I'll tell you why later. That's a good pick. I'll tell you why later. I'll tell you why later. I'm just saying. But Eric Badu is definitely a. Yeah. It's just different. Yeah. That's going to be like a whole life changing experience, I feel Facts. like. So. Honestly, I ain't going to lie to you. I think she might slip my. She might. She might put something in my. <laughs> she might take a I'm too good. I'm going to let her do it. I'm going to let her do it. I'm gonna let her do it. Yo, that's funny. No, but I definitely was more worried. That shit just would be a funny ass experience. Erica Badu is definitely a a go to. She be DJing this shit. <laughs> she gonna have that shit rocking. Man, she real. Right. Like, she real. We gonna learn some shit. Yo. <laughs> Who you got? I'm gonna smoke with Putin. What, bro? <laughs> I just want to see where his head's at. Bro, he probably don't even <laughs> smoke, bro. <laughs> that's why. I want to see this nigga high for the first time. Bro. I want to smoke with him. I just want to see if that's like... I want to see what he's going through. I don't know. I, mean, I feel like it's, what he's going through. I feel, like, I feel like the weed is like the truth serum. And bro. like if you could just get to somebody's inner thoughts. That nigga liable to fly off the handle. He gets some shit. <laughs> I don't think so. Bro. I think... You got to think of weed as a medicine, right? You got to take it for what it is. If you smoke it, you can get to see more perspective. I think smoking with people is the, like, is the reasoning drug. I noticed that shit. After, like, having a great break off of weed, mm-hmm. coming back to it slowly, it's kind of, like, showing me that it's really a perspective drug. You, you calm down a little bit because you've been in that position. You've been in that position, so you don't get mad as easily as strangers right because you see from their perspective so i feel like smoking with somebody like that you'll be able to give your perspective to them and they're more likely to intake that because of the weed you can get them in the right circumstance if you can get the right dose yeah i'm about to say you got to get people like that in the right circumstance yeah in reality in real life i don't even think they would be open to but we ain't we ain't talking about no i know that (laughs) some people i just feel like they one track minded with stuff it's like bro just smoke it don't even gotta be with me just smoke to just listen it's an experience and it's helped it's helped a lot of people yeah it has see a little see perspective so we're here we on we on orange cookies we on, oh we on orange cookies we on orange cookies Whew. this orange cookies got me uh feeling feeling very debonair <laughs> 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 like those shit's fancy. What is that? Fancy in the mug, day. Shit. All right. Well, we gonna get right into it, bro. You said something about the telescope seeing, seeing oh, oh, yeah. space, bro. I'm not even about to. So there's this telescope. I don't know the name of it. What? <laughs> I told you I do research, but I don't be researching. Like I don't remember. <laughs> I do this research, shit. but I don't be researching. I don't remember and shit. What? But it's like, to me, I just feel like. It's just enhanced pictures, right? Mm-hmm. Probably, probably so. It's just better HD technology. Like you're, <laughs> you got instead of 4K, they got this telescope that see. Yeah, telescope K. So small, they see stars further away. They're so zoomed in. I mean, people are really uh, fascinated with space. People, people are crying people about have it. Always been fascinated with space, but like right now, you know, it's hot. It's the hot shit right now. You, it's the hot topic. Do you think people are like really as hype as they're trying to make it be? I feel like some people are. Like I've seen some, um, but I think also as far as okay, so I think people that are really into space, like people that are that probably work for NASA, and people that are really into uh, astronomy, astronomy. Which one is it? Space. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
I had both classes in college. I just can't remember the, which you one. Know, is and you know, I didn't have neither. Of those. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't gonna say nothing wrong. I'm highly focused, so please forgive me. But as you um, should, for people be. that are interested in those type of things, but like you said, space. I think they're probably really excited. But people like. Uh, who's just taking everybody to uh, Space Ben? Elon. Yeah. Elon. <laughs> Elon. 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 Yeah, he's taking everybody to space. He's um, people like that. They, I think they just being hyped, just trying to get on the bandwagon and shit like that. Mm. Like make it like this. You got to be a certain caliber to do this type of shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a. Status, you know, economic status type of situation. I, that's how I look at it. I, I, mean, I agree with you. I never give a fuck about going into space. Would it be interesting to go? Yeah, but I'm not really. I was never really pressed about shit like that. I think what I had about a little. What's going on down here? Yeah, I had I had a little <laughs> switch in my life where it was like I went from being hype about space to now being like, but I haven't seen enough of Earth to really go to space, like. Did you really see other fucking Instagram pictures? Did you have you, <laughs> you seen saw those all the Instagram pictures in real life? Like, have you been to those places? Have you no, got you the have experience? Not. So until you experience what the Earth has to offer, you shouldn't be thinking about space. Like, I'm not looking to go in the fucking sea. I'm not looking to go into space until I'm like, yo, I walk <laughs> this fucking I'm Earth. I've to seen. Be in the I'm trying to be in the middle. Listen, space is dark. I ain't trying to be in the dark, bro. <laughs> like, for why a you long ass time that? and then you land on a planet you that you that? don't know who the fuck is on there bro what the, what God made over there like <laughs> the, the bangs up I'm there. not looking the to go to where mind your business bro the bangs out there listen you gotta chill but yeah that's what some weird stuff that's been going on in the world thank you thank you for bringing that to my attention I thought that shit was hilarious for real for real but moving on Yo, do you think it's weird? Uh, somebody asked me this question. Do you think it's weird if a job makes you take a drug test? Do you think it's weird if you ask them what they're drug testing for specifically? I think the stigma right now is yes, but it shouldn't be. I feel like it needs to, at some point needs to switch over because of all the rules and all the like. It's becoming normalized. They've been holding back weed as a medicine for so long. Just let us have it. Cannabis. This is a uh, cannabis. <laughs> um, but I think it, at some point it needs to be talked about, mm -hmm. right? In states that allow the medical use of marijuana, if you're looking for, you know, a job, if in, and it has you're driving a fucking truck around, then okay, yeah, you can say, I'm looking you, for you can't do that. THC. Yeah. But if you're sitting at a desk or if you're working um, closely with others, I think you should be like, all customer service jobs, smoke a blunt before you go in. No, <laughs> no but like, no. If you, or you were, if it was legal and your job allowed it, I think it should be something you can say right before I you I feel job. like for certain jobs uh, I kind of agree with you for certain jobs it makes sense like I don't want my this is going this is going to be crazy like I feel like anything that can be treated medically and you have medical clearance for that shouldn't even be a thing that shouldn't be an option. Yeah, like it, like that, like everything else goes, not everything else, but what I'm being treated for, that goes out the window. Like that's okay. If that's what you were looking for, I have reason that I would fail that or I have clearance that I'm, I'm able to use this. You know what I'm saying? Got but you. Other stuff, okay, cool. Like, Got you. But I think it's still an invasion of privacy, of people's privacy, regardless of what it is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day. <clears throat> I agree with you. I think it's, when it comes to weed, it needs to be, if your state allows it to be used as a medical use, then it should be omitted from the category. Just, just add proper paperwork. Yeah, have you, if, you, if you got a card or something like that, yeah. And I feel like jobs have to accept it. And again, depending on your job, you know what I mean? But then, like I said, it'll become a gray area fast because then it's going to depend on the individual. And I can just see how to avoid all of that. Just say no. The, you know what, what if, They're going to do that from the jump. 
But what if they came out with testing? What if like there, there was a whole bunch of like doctors that was like, you know what, we've been high the whole time. And my, and my record speaks for itself. <laughs> if you look at my record and look at my THC. Now I'm 73 and 4. I only lost four niggas. That's all I'm saying. Four only lost niggas. four niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had to, but it does. Right, like, I saved their lives. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think if there was more testing, I think it'll be uh, worth talking about putting a bill out there or something. Yeah. Talk to your local legislators. <laughs> <laughs> local legislators, get in contact with them. I'll go there. Oh, go ahead, look them up. Go ahead, <laughs> yeah, look them up. <laughs> and let me know let what me they say. <laughs> <laughs> let me know what's up. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to educate the people, bro, <laughs> so they can educate me. <laughs> Real bad. I'm I just point them to the water. That's all right. <laughs> and I ask them to bring that shit smooth back. Hey, let me get way back. Let me get a little bit. Let me get a little swig on the way back. Because I'm pointing you over there, bro. I showed you. I showed you where it was at. I ain't tell you how to get there. Right. I just said it was over there. Yeah, right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure I get my 10% on your way back, but. <laughs> Let me know about any parking blessings you got. For parking this blessings? Um, you better not say gas for the third week. <laughs> <laughs> nah, gas on my way back. No. Um, <laughs> no, my parking blessings. Uh, I actually got to talk to my homie, uh, John Swaby. My uh, boy. That's what's up. What's up, um, John Swaby? My mans. We got to reconnect. He was my roommate in New York. Oh, word. Facts. That's good. And it's crazy because when we were in New York, mm -hmm. we both were like super ambitious on like our fucking careers. Mm -hmm. That's the boy who I seen like every fucking night mm -hmm. doing music. That's what's up. And I was like every fucking night reading fucking scripts and praying I can get to this joint. On on he was on our grind. Like that's my man's. I want to see more of his shit. I'm telling you, that man is great. And I know he working on something crazy. My man, John Swaby. Swaby. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. How about you? What's your uh, parking blessings? Um, I was off yesterday. That was a blessing. Woo! And I did day off. everything that was on my to-do list. And I was working on, like, a personal goal. Okay. So... And it's going pretty well. Nice, nice. So, yeah. Gold blessings. Yeah. Gold blessings. <laughs> Gold blessings. Go! Facts. You gave me your high question earlier. Yeah. Oh, no, I did have a high question. So, because I don't know nothing about that telescope. <laughs> so, because I don't know nothing about that telescope, I, I brought up earlier. So, so my, my high question is, like, is it looking into the past or is it just taking a picture? And I think I figured out that it's taking a picture. How do you ask me an answer? But, <laughs> but like, rem I don't know if y'all remember, because he don't remember, but remember they told us when we look in the sky, that motherfucker, those, those stars is probably already dead. I ain't no stars could die. What? Like, because of the, Who killed them? how long it takes for light to get, but... Huh? How yeah. do a star die? Be is it breathing? Thank you too much. That's gonna be the title. How do? How, how star, did the star die? <laughs> how did the star die? Not Patrick. I'm not talking about my man. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> oh, Patrick. <laughs> not my man. Oh, I was about speaking of shoes. I was watching the um. So I was falling asleep on the <laughs> the Bob the Burger. Oh, Bob's Burgers movie. Movie. I have to watch that. I was lit, like I was. Exhausted, <laughs> but I was trying to like you know I, I fall asleep. I, I watched that so many times that I could just put it on and go to sleep. Fast. So I used that as a background, but I was like, yo, I need to watch this again because my like part of me was like, yo, I I knew I was gonna wake up and watch it again. So okay. shout out to Bob Burger for that. <laughs> shout out to Bob's Burger. Man, this motherfucker making me want cheeseburger now. Oh, I do want cheeseburger. Bro, excuse me. You said something to me about the governor. I think it's the governor, right? The governor of California, Gavin Newsom. Yeah, you told me something about he about to pass a law that's going to allow victims of gun violence to sue gun manufacturers. Facts. Yes, yes, that is. I agree. That's wow. I think that is that's not a bad thing. Is I think that's at this point. What can you do? 
what else can you do? What, what, until we get some laws passed that really look into the like security of the United States, mm-hmm. like I feel like we need to pass laws like this. We really do. They just what did they pass in um in um the president just passed this I think it's like a mass shooting alarm that goes off. So like an amber alert. Oh okay. To your is an alarm to tell you there's a mass shooting. Jeez. I I hope I never get that to agree. But also is that doing enough? That's triggering to people that may have already been in mass shooting. And what if, how what's the radius? So if I'm here and that there was a mass shooting in Colorado and my family. No, like like even like down the street, like further down the street, but you know it's four more, four more is a mass shooting. So somebody just shot uh, somebody yeah, just sprayed the block. But they was nowhere near you. It was like maybe a, a mile or two away. It had nothing to do with you. Is your phone gonna go off every time? Is that's a trigger, like you I said. Hope not. Just like Amber Alert, it goes off all the time. Is that saving is that helping us? That's helping you. It's helping you because one it's making you aware so you can, you know, remove yourself from this from the area. I agree. Worst case scenario. But again, just more so more than anything, just making you aware that everybody is on alert. And especially if you live in one of them neighborhoods where, you know, they got the neighborhood watch, everybody wanna be involved in shit, you know, they, everybody wanna get down to the bottom of some shit. I need them to instead of giving me alarm Figure out how to stop the fucking mass shooting. <laughs> uh, you can't stop somebody from doing some unreasonable shit. That shit just happens. And it's super unfortunate. But <laughs> Until they get rid of guns, right? Until they get a law that, that you really have to have a reasonable... Yeah, you gotta have a, re- a real, real reason. Or just... I don't know. I really don't even get me. To, don't uh, we don't know line. nothing, but we I know a little even, bit about don't something. Don't even get me the line, bro. I'm not about to sit up here and try to figure out some shit that I know I don't know. I know I don't have the answers to. I just wish people wouldn't do shit like that. Yeah. That's all. I, to me, I think that's unnecessary, even for an individual that was bullied or something like that. So if someone has like mental problems or something like of that nature maybe they couldn't have helped themselves um but i just i wish it i wish stuff like that just didn't happen it's unnecessary and it's just unfortunate and for it to just be consistently going on <laughs> as as often as it's been this year i think that's extremely alarming yeah like for real for real that's so. that's the biggest problem it was it's a lot i don't want to keep saying the number but yeah. it's a lot it's a lot but let's uh let's move on to a more positive note. Uh, you said something about uh, somebody got a scholarship. Oh yeah. A girl got two million dollars in scholarships. Yes. Do you remember what the girl's name was? Uh, I remember her name is Amia. Miss Jackson. Amia Jackson. Amia Jackson. Shout out to you. She's from Villa Park, Illinois, I think. Yes, and she got accepted to thirty-eight school. <laughs> Boss. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Two million dollars worth of scholarships. Get into it. Seventeen years old. Graduated with a four point three GPA. <laughs> just give me the three. Like I mean, Steph Curry with the shot. You gotta you gotta shout out like those are like the young people's definitely inspirations right now. Right now. And I <clears throat> another bull, seventeen years old. Um was it Justin? Uh, Justin Riddick? Yeah. Justin Riddick. Ricketts. Ricketts. Sorry, forgive me. From uh, Rivera, Florida. Yeah, he just... So... You got a 1,600 on SAT? 1,600. One in 4,000 people get a 1,600. And one out of 4,000 people. Shout out to you. Every year. Young boy Ricketts. Even if you cheated. I don't believe you cheated, but shout out to you. You got away with it, though. <laughs> 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 You're chilling. <laughs> I'm not even hating. Just even if you didn't, just shout out to you. Listen. If you did, shout out to you for you know what I mean. Bro, facts. That's. But I love to hear it though. Yeah, shout we, we had to shout out some young thing. people this this episode. This is about you know shouting out our, our young royalties as well. And I that was my speaking the shoes. Like development starts young. 
Right. Social skills start to start young. You know, behavioral skills start young. And if we can see great people like this, you know, get to these points, we just need to just pour in love into our, like, our youth. Like, just pour that love into them. Just keep refilling their cup because it doesn't matter what you do as parents behind the scenes. They always remember the smiles, the hugs, you know, the laughter, the games, the Friday nights, the Sunday morning breakfasts, the them shits stick because that's that love and they want to do right by you. So if y'all just keep pouring it in, we're going to see some great young people making it. What he said. Facts. Shout out to y'all young people. I wish I was still young sometimes. We still young. Forever. Let me know what you've been listening to. I wanna be. Repeats. Oh. Or recycles. Repeats, recycles. So I got a couple of them. You always so speaking do. of shoes. <laughs> that's not speaking of shoes. Back in, back to what we were talking about before. But Erica Badu. Oh, the apple tree. Oh. oh, that was a good one. It hit my hit my channel soon. <laughs> like, hit my channel soon. It was, okay. it was. Shout out to Erica Badu. Erica Badu, definitely on the list. That's why, right here with it. She's the shit. Um, my second one was Sunday Candy. Chance. By Donald, Donny Trumpet. Donny Trumpet and Chance. And the Social Experiment. Come on, get the names right. He, <laughs> Chance was in it, but he was part of the Social, part of the social experiment. experiment. I had to put. I didn't want to. I didn't want to make it about Chance again this okay. week, but I. When I can say with this song, nigga will change your life. This nigga saved my life plenty of times with just this song. Saved my life plenty of times. Plenty of times with this song. I got to give it a shout out to Chance. Right. And then last but not least, Heebie Jeebies. What? My nigga Josh Swaby. Heebie Jeebies. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm telling y'all right now, listen hey, to it. Genius. It's called Heebie Jeebies, one word. <laughs> Listen to it. Jeebies, one word. I'm telling you. That's a long time. <laughs> no, no, uh, not the one word. <laughs> Just Jeebies <laughs> is one word. <laughs> you see it at the top. Jeebies. <laughs> I'm saying it's a long word. <laughs> but yeah, but no, shout out to that John. Yeah, listen to it. it That'd be dope. Uh, what was I listening to? I was listening to Tyler. Tyler. If you get lost. Okay. Um, yeah, and I was also still listening to Kendrick. I gave him a break for a little bit. I did just recently go back, you know, get myself in preparation. What so, you, uh, yeah. what, think, what album was you listening to, or was it just. Uh, I songs? think it was. Uh, what album was I listening to? Recent one. Okay. More on the big starters and some from Dam also. Okay. Uh, what else was I listening to? I think that was it. No, I was still listening to Lupe. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'll get that. Or <laughs> I'm not you listening. You know me. I be in my my own <laughs> space. <laughs> I be taking my time. There's no disrespect. There's more respect than anything. My man say so But yeah That was all I was listening to uh, That was it We actually went out of order For a quick second We already did inspiration so. I do have another inspiration now Oh go ahead So I'm gonna shout out Clene Henderson And mothers I gotta do it again But Clene specifically uh, She balances a lot And As a little brother I am a little bossy and sometimes I, but she, she definitely holds her own. She's a mother. She has her own business, and she's working for a big business. And to see somebody like that just flourish, you know what I mean, and do it without complaint mm -hmm. around and like you know what I mean. What you're doing your privacy is what you're doing privacy, but when you're around and you're out, you don't complain. You you keep pushing, you keep going. So, Facts. shout out to my sister. Shout out to you. Um, but yeah, if y'all with us, we appreciate it. Uh, we hope it was interesting. Hope this we got a few gems. I don't recall giving any, but um, <laughs> um, we might have. Take your pictures. You, yeah, or if you were just <laughs> listening just for background noise, or if you was listening because you hot. 
be focused. Or if you want to get highly focused because you listened. There you go. Please do. If you were encouraged or inspired, go do that. Go do that. Please roll one up. Stay highly blessed, highly favored, and highly focused. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. As always, and we out. Does it take <laughs> to get a million views? <laughs> no. For us to get free button on it. It'll take bullshit. one more. <laughs> no, I'm just bullshit. It's a lucky number 13. I'm just trying to see.